A very good evening, class 12th. We are back to the chemistry class by Seema Markizani, and today I'll be doing unit number eight, your D and F block of elements. Now, this particular chapter is huge, and I have split this particular chapter into three sections. I'll be doing it in three parts. The first part would be about the D block of elements and their properties. which has roughly around 12 to 14 properties, which I'll be discussing, the reasons for these properties and the justifications, so on, related to their EC, electronic configuration. This would be my part one. The part two that I would be taking would be detailed study of KMnO4, the oxidizing agent that we use, and K2Cr2O7. A detailed study of these two compounds will be dealt in the part 2 of this particular chapter. The part 3, I would be taking the F block of elements which I am doing today, that is right now. So, agenda for today's class is the D and F block of elements, the last tail end part of the chapter where we will be doing the F block of elements, that is the lanthanides and actinoids and a comparative study for the two. Fine. So, let's begin with this particular part. Alright. So, this is how our periodic table looks like. I am first going to take into account this particular part of the periodic table which has got lanthanum plus 14 elements so a total of 15 elements are at this particular point in the periodic table now this particular point refers to group number one group number two group number three and group number four so it is in the group number three that we have all these 15 elements including the first element which is your lanthanoid that is your lanthanum you may not know all the elements, but the first element is called lanthanum and the atomic number is 57 for this particular element. So your F block, which is the together culmination of these two horizontal rows, you should know that the first series is called as the lanthanoids. So when I talk about this bright yellow series in the periodic table, which I have marked for you people, is referring to your lanthanoids and these are 15 elements beginning with lanthanum and ending at lutetnium the atomic number for lutetnium is 71 so atomic number 57 to 71 is for the lanthanoids talking about the second horizontal series is your part of the periodic table which is located here these are called as the actinoids all these again these are 15 elements that I am talking about and these 15 elements belong to this particular point of your periodic table actinium along with 14 actinoids so again you have actinoids below the lanthanoids in the periodic table now in the periodic table this is your period number one period number two period number three period number four period number five sixth period and this is your seventh period so it should be clear that your lanthanoids are a part of the sixth period while your actinoids belong to the seventh period the first element of actinoid is actinium which has got an atomic number of 89 the last member of the actinoid series is laurentium which has got an atomic number of 103 so in case of actinoids you have from actinium to laurentium 89 to 103 15 elements again in all now apart from this what you should know is this particular element that is your promethium is radioactive so it is difficult to study in the lanthanoids while in the actinoids you should see this is your uranium the atomic number for uranium is 92 and all the elements after uranium are called as trans uranium elements. 
सारे एलिमेंट्स आफ्टर यूरेनियम आर नोन एज मतलब अटोमिक नंबर शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन नाइन्टी टू फॉल अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ ट्रांस यूरेनियम एलिमेंट्स नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट इज प्लूटोनियम दिस पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट इज अमेरिसियम दिस इज क्यूरियम पर हैप्स मैडम क्यूरी मस्ट हैव डिस्कवर्ड इट दिस इज कैलिफोर्नियम डिस्कवर्ड इन कैलिफोर्निया पर हैप्स दिस इज आइंस्टीनियम मे बी आइंस्टीन हैज डिस्कवर्ड दैम दिस इज मैंडेलीवियम सो मे बी मैंडलीव एंड दिस वन इज लॉरेंशियम यू मे नॉट लर्न फॉर ऑल ऑफ दैम बट यू शुड बी अवेयर दैट मैंडलीनियम मैंडलीवियम आइंस्टीनियम कैलिफोर्नियम क्यूरियम अमेरिसियम प्लूटोनियम थोरियम and uranium belong to the actinoid series all right so let's begin with the comparative study of lanthanoids and actinoids as done already lanthanoids belong to atomic number 57 to 71 while actinoids belong to atomic number 89 to 103 now when we talk about the lanthanoids you are going to fill electrons in the 4f subshell that means you are going to add 1 to 14 electrons in the 4f then those elements are called as lanthanoids but when you are adding the electrons into the 5f again 1 to 14 these electrons which are being added into the 5f are known as the elements belong to actinoid series we already did that your lanthanoids are a part of the sixth period which i showed it to you in the periodic table while the actinoids are a part of the seventh period fine so actinoids are below the lanthanoids the general configuration of lanthanoids is 4f 1 to 14 5d is only 0 and 1 this is not surprising this 0 and 1 is only for stability reason kisi element ka agar 4f 8 hoga to one electron goes from 4f 8 to 5d so that 4f becomes 4f 7 and 7 is half filled so this 0 and 1 is only for stability reason whenever you have 4f 7 uh, 8 you take one electron into the 5d 6s2 is already there the general configuration for actinoid involves the filling of the 5f 1 to 14 again the 6d is only 0 to 1 is only to stabilize the configuration if at all you have an extra electron here like in case of 5f8 you can shift one electron here to make it 5f7 and that would lead to stability the last electron is the seventh shell last electron is in the sixth shell so automatically this has one shell extra also out of all the 15 elements of lanthanoids there is only one element promethium which is radioactive the atomic number is 61 so this one is difficult to study radioactive ka kya matlab hota the nucleus is unstable let me explain it to you let us say ki ek element hai jo ki unstable hai let's say uska let us let us take it to be x uska mass number is let's say 79 and i say it is radioactive what it means is on its own this element decomposes uska nucleus toot jata hai matlab number of protons split let's say it splits into 40 and 39 40 wala element will be your argon aur 39 wala element will be your potassium which means aapka x element apne aap toot ke argon aur potassium agar ban jayega to aap uski properties to study kar hi nahi sakte such elements have got an unstable nucleus मतलब योर न्यूक्लियस स्प्लिट्स इफ इट स्प्लिट्स तो नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स वेरी कर जाते हैं फाइन सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्टडी एक्स क्योंकि वो तो अपने आप टूट के ये बन जाता है और अगर ये हाफ लाइफ वी हैव डन हाफ लाइफ इन द चैप्टर ऑफ काइनेटिक्स अगर इसकी हाफ लाइफ लेटर से टेन सेकेंड है मतलब ये दस सेकेंड में फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट विल ब्रेक इन टू द कॉम्पोनेट्स सो वेन विल यू स्टडी इट सरप्राइजिंगली ऑल of the actinoids are radioactive therefore it is very difficult to study these elements comparing the size with respect to the lanthanoids kyunki sixth shell mein hai there are six shells filled so the size is smaller while actinoids would have a larger size because you are in the seventh shell fine moving ahead beta agar iska size chhota hai to removing electron is going to be tough so the ionization energy is going to be sorry going to be higher while in case of actinoids if the size is large then in that case removal of electron is going to be easy therefore ionization energy is going to be lower it's easier to remove the electron therefore this becomes more metallic while this comparatively would be less metallic 
क्योंकि इसका इलेक्ट्रॉन निकालना मुश्किल है मतलब इसका कैटाइन बनाना इज गोइंग टू बी टफ दिस कैन इजिली बी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू कैटाइन एज कंपेयर टू लेंथनोइ फाइन नाउ एज वी प्रोसीव फ्रॉम द लेंथनोइड टू योर लेंथनम टू ल्यूटेटनियम योर फोर एफ सीरीज द साइज गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग because of the poor shielding effect of the 4f subshell your effective nuclear charge increases so the size decreases as you move from the first member of lanthanoids to the last member of lanthanoids as you move from here to here the size decreases agar size chota ho jayega to ionization energy badh jayegi ionization high ho jayegi to metallic character will be less so same is true as you move from actinoid to laurentium the size decreases as you move from lanthanoids lanthanum to deuterium the size decreases as you move from actinoid to laurentium uh, the size decreases lanthanoid to deuterium the size decreases this decrease is called as lanthanoid contraction while this decrease is called as actinoid contraction size dono mein decrease hoga but 5f ka shielding effect is poorer than 4f kyunki uska size badha to uska covering tendency to cover up the nucleus becomes less therefore isme shielding effect is poorer effective nuclear charge zyada hai therefore actinoid contraction is larger as compared to lanthanoid contraction but size will definitely decrease as you go from first member of lanthanoids to the last member as you go from first member of actinoids to the last member size decreases now the common oxidation state of lanthanoids is plus 3 हम अलग अलग लिखते भी नहीं वी राइट देम एज एल एन एल एन कोई एलिमेंट नहीं है इट इज जस्ट अ जनरल फॉर्मूला फॉर ऑल दी लेंथनोइड्स तो एल एन वेन कम्बाइंड विद ऑक्सीजन दी फॉर्मूला विल बी एल एन टू ओ थ्री लेंथनम की ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज प्लस थ्री ऑल लेंथनोइड्स जनरली वेन लेंथनोइड्स कम्बाइंड विद सल्फर दी बैलेंसी ऑफ लेंथनोइड इज थ्री सल्फर इज टू सो दिस इज हाउ यू गेट द सल्फाइड विद हेलोजन इट वुड बी एल एन एक्स थ्री बिकॉज दी बैलेंसी और द कॉमन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट इज प्लस थ्री बट in case of actinoids there is a greater range of oxidation state which is it goes because 7s 6d and 5f all have comparable energies they are closer to each other so electrons from all of them participate in bonding so the oxidation states can go from plus 3 to plus 7 there is a large variety of oxidation state in actinoids while in case of lanthanoids the common oxidation state is plus 3 Also, whenever they would have four F is one to thirteen, मतलब partially filled four F, it will lead to paramagnetic character because it would have unpaired electron. F orbital में बेटा seven subshells, seven orbitals होंगे one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Whether it is four F or it is five F, ऐसा ही होगा. So if it has just one electron, it has paramagnetic, 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 paramagnetic. So if it has seven electrons, it's paramagnetic. Eight maybe there are still unpaired. Nine, ten, eleven maybe there are unpaired. Thirteen tak they are all there is still one unpaired. So if the electrons are one to thirteen, it will be said to be paramagnetic. So if the electrons are one to thirteen in five f or one to thirteen in four f, these identities will show paramagnetism. Note when we move from lanthanoid to the last member lutetium. As I said, lanthanoid का साइज लैंथनम का साइज बड़ा है ल्यूटेटनियम का साइज छोटा है लैंथनॉइड इज मोर मेटालिक तो उसका हाइड्रोक्साइड वुड बी मोर बेसिक इन नेचर बिकॉज मेटालिक हाइड्रोक्साइड्स आर बेसिक सो द मेटालिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ लैंथनॉइड इज लैंथनम इज हायर दैन ल्यूटेटनियम देर फोर द बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ द हाइड्रोक्साइड ऑफ लैंथनो लैंथनम द फर्स्ट मेंबर इज गोइंग टू बी मोर देन दैट ऑफ ल्यूटेटनियम दिस हैज बीन अ बोर्ड क्वेश्चन Fine. Moving ahead, I would now be doing some exceptions in case of lanthanoids. Lanthanoids generally show a plus three oxidation state, but there are exceptions. Cerium has atomic number fifty eight. If you write the configuration, you will find it is xenon four f two six s two. Now, given a choice, cerium would prefer to lose all these four electrons to become a configuration of a noble gas, inert gas configuration. so cerium does show a plus 4 oxidation state so this is one of the lanthanoids which shows a plus 4 oxidation state but since lanthanoids are found in plus 3 if cerium goes from cerium plus 4 to plus 
it will have to gain an electron if it is gaining electron that means it is undergoing reduction since it is undergoing reduction this therefore will act as a very good oxidizing agent so this has been a board question why is cerium plus 4 a good oxidizing agent because it prefers to go to plus 3 the common oxidation state of lanthanoids the next exception is europium Europium is EU, atomic number is 63. If you write the electronic configuration, you would end up into this. Which means, if given a choice, what will be its oxidation number? Plus 2, because it will only lose these, this is half filled stable. So this is again an exception, where this lanthanoid prefers to show a plus 2 and not a plus 3. So, if this element also goes into the common oxidation state, your europium will go into plus 3. This would happen by the loss of electron means europium 2 positive prefers to undergo oxidation therefore it becomes a good reducing agent these both have been asked in the board questions so you should know in lanthanoids which is the particular one why does cerium 4 act as a good oxidizing agent also there has been a question give the electronic configuration of cerium 3 plus which will be 4f1 so it will be paramagnetic also The third exception is Yeterbium. YB is the symbol. Atomic number is 70. If you write the configuration, you would end up in this. And as you can see, it would easily prefer to lose only these electrons. This is fully filled. So the oxidation state common becomes plus 2. So given a choice, if Yeterbium forms the common oxidation state of lanthanoids, that is YB plus 3 means it will lose an electron. Therefore, undergoes oxidation. So again, this also acts as a good reducing agent. Why do europium plus 2 and ytterbium plus 2 act as a good oxidizing agent, sorry reducing agents, whereas cerium plus 4 acts as a good oxidizing agent have been questions in the boards. Talking about the use, use of lanthanoid is a mish metal. Mish metal is an alloy which contains lanthanoids. Consa lanthanoid hai wo nahi pata. It is just a mixture of lanthanoids which has 95% of lanthanoids. Iron is approximately 5% in it. Baki thoda bahut are very less in amount. You will get sulfur, carbon, calcium and aluminium are there in very less traces amount. We use this particular law in bullets, shells and lighter flints. So in generally it is used in the defense of a system or a country. I'll just take up the last important question that has been asked over a period of time. The Elements zirconium and hafnium. Now this zirconium belongs to your 4D series. This is your 3D series. This is the 5D series. As we move down the size should increase. But as we move from the first transition to second transition the size increases considerably. But when we move from the second to the third there is a very less size increase. The reason lies in the lanthanoids and the lanthanoid contraction. When I move from zirconium to hafnium. When you move from zirconium to hafnium, there are 14 electrons in the 4F which cause a poor shielding effect. And it is because of this lanthanoid contraction, poor shielding effect of the 14 4F electrons which makes effective nuclear charge more. Increase in size is not observed much. To our surprise, it is found that zirconium has a size of 160 picometers while hafnium surprisingly has a size of 159 picometer. They are almost same in their atomic sizes. In fact, hafnium despite being below zirconium is slightly lower in size and all is because of these 14 lanthanoid elements plus lanthanum 15. 4F filling is the reason why size does not increase much when you move from zirconium to hafnium. Shell increases but size does not increase owing to the 14-15 electrons in the 4F which has a poor shielding effect. Is that clear? With this, I come to the end of this particular part of the D and F block of elements. We have finished the third part of the D and F block of elements. My next video would be on part 2 and in the end I will be doing part 1. Please keep watching and sharing the videos. Bless you loads. Do well in life. Stay connected. Stay happy and blessed. Bye.